This one's gonna be outside, slingshot. These guys, oh, he almost goes off the track. Anderson has him. Well, don't forget a week ago, Tomac took Anderson wide as he made the pass in Arlington. He did, oh, he makes, makes it. He hits the back tire of Jason Anderson. And look at Barsha's right on the inside. He's going to pass him right here. And Barsha's not afraid to be aggressive about it, and he was. And Bam Bam is bye-bye and pulling past. Tomac retaliates. Wow, Tomac isn't playing around. He gives Barsha the business, as you would say, Ralph. He sure did. And Daniel, things are heating up deep in the pack here. That's a fight just inside the top 10 for eight. And riders don't forget. Remember back to San Diego, Justin Barsha and Eli Tomac got back and forth into each other. They don't forget. You saw Chase Sexton and RJ Hampshire in the 250 class a week ago. These guys don't forget San Diego. Keep an eye on this next three laps. He took the words right out. You took the words out of my mouth, Daniel. I went right back to that replay. Barsha is fired up. This is how he gets the name Bam Bam. We got to watch this right here. Eli Tomac better not leave that door open. Oh, Webb oh. stalls. Oh, and look at that. Down goes Tomac, and Baggett is involved in it. As we were watching the replay, oh, this is devastating for the man who's hoping to win his first championship this year. That red number plate he's been so desperately trying to hang on to, slipping out of his hands here tonight in Atlanta. Justin, I was gonna ask, man, I was gonna bump knuckles, but That's what right. happened to your hand, dude? Yeah, my friend Eli got me. <laughs> okay. He said it was, it was hard, aggressive racing, but I beg to differ because I know, I know, I know dirty racing because I used to be a bit of an idiot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was gnarly racing, but all good. 